So we've got an interesting Battletech Tactica question here. I've explored it. I've thought about it. I'm going to push out my response, and then I'm going to turn it over to you guys in the comments and uh, see what we can do. And I believe this question from my blog was coming in on the Game of Armored Combat set, Fantastic Starter set. Amazing maps, amazing mechs, but it's not really clear. We have battle value. We have a few ideas, but how do you begin to put together what's fair or what's possible? In Battletech, if, if you want to go in that direction, maybe you want to play a hopeless game with a hopeless narrative, survive at all costs, a, a lot of great ways to explore the Battletech universe. But I think for most of us, on a side note, it is battle value, maybe even tonnage. So the question was, can a light mech ever defeat a heavy mech? So my first thought on this, let's assume one-on-one, -on -one for, for whatever reason. Here we are, right? One-on-one. -on -one. There is, when you move to light to medium, medium to heavy, heavy to assault, there is this kind of area in terms of tonnage where the lines are blurred a little bit. I mean, the tech manuals have it as an even split, but there's some high-end light mechs that uh, tonnage in terms of armament that could possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe and, and stand a good chance of winning against one of the lower-end, lower-spectrum medium mechs on there. You know, a perfect example would be the Jenner. But as soon as you're one weight class above, I, I just find it impossible. I've never seen it using conventional methods. And if you've been following my podcasts, you know I'm about the unconventional. So I'm not going to say no, but I'm going to say things are pretty slim and you're probably going to join the ranks of the dispossessed. Here, here's the challenge. Not only, I mean, at first glance, the obvious thing is armor bubbles. Look at um, one of the light mech sheets compared to a heavy mech. We're not even going to go into assault. We're looking at heavy. And for a while, I was playing a lot of heavy mechs. I was playing a lot of assault mechs for like five or six or seven Battletech games. I was really playing some powerful units. And then I went back and I was exploring some light mechs. And when you go from a heavy or assault mech to a light mech, you think there's like a, a printing error on the sheet. There's like no armor. Like one PPC hit will take out like the entire side of your mech, blow off the arm, blow off the weapons, blow off everything. It's almost like for the battle value, I'd rather have a tank but there's mobility issues on there, and there's certain tactical issues that conventional tanks, can they just can't even match with mechs. So there is a reason for light mechs. But the first thing, obviously, the armor, that's a factor. But the bigger factor combined with the armor is the weapon systems. Often what we'll see on a light mech is you'll have a primary weapon that wants to deal damage at a range, Usually it's a medium laser. And then you'll have one or two secondary weapons that are really for backup. If things get really bad, you get cornered. At least you can fire a little bit and then get out of there. Um, if we look at the Locust, you know, guys know I love the Locust. You've got the machine guns in the stock and the medium laser. Its primary weapon, its long-range type weapon, is that medium laser. The machine guns, or the variant that I play with the SRM-2s, which has actually got a lot of bite. should rename that the Scorpion, but there's already a Scorpion mech out there. Looking at it, exploring it that way, gives it a lot more push. The challenge here is, if we're going to duel one-to-one, -one, Battletech one-to-one -one duels, it's about dishing out firepower. It's about staying, you know, your staying power with the um, armor, but it's about dishing out firepower and maximizing your chance, your probability to hit on here. So what that means, uh, let's just pick a heavy mech. First thing that comes to mind, Warhammer, one of my favorite mechs. But, but actually a really great example uh, for this podcast, for this vlog. The Warhammer is going to shoot you with PPCs. Let's just say for maximum heat management, they're going to shoot at one PPC at you at a turn. They're not going to chain link and fire two. They're going to shoot that one PPC. The Locust is going to dance. It's going to run. You're going to try and not get hit. But if we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe and I want to dish out the maximum amount of damage, because that's the only way I'm going to win, I now have to close. I now have to get super close with those machine guns. And this is where the danger of heavy mechs come in. It's not so much for their long-range toys. They might have one or two, you know, traditionally a PPC or maybe an LRM pack on there, you know, 10, 15 pack. 
It's the array of medium lasers. It's the array of short-range missiles. It's once you get to nine hexes or less, the raw number of weapons that they can shoot at you, even if they push heat or even if they have good heat management, look at the grasshopper, a great example. That's where this, your light mech is just going to get scrapped. The other part is if I am going to somehow leverage the maximum amount of weapons, even if we would go with a um, – let's look at a Jenner, right? Jenner versus – that's probably a better example. Jenner versus a Warhammer. If I go there, I have a lot of weapons that are redundant, but I'm going to get close, and I probably don't want to move because I want to maximize all of my weapons hitting. But I'm just not going to have the staying power of it. Um, a light mech is recon. A light mech is hunting down other light mechs. A light mech is distraction, run, and gun. Um, a light mech might be I work to rear armor, and I'm not really going to do a lot of damage, but I'm going to keep some pressure on my opponent so my mediums and heavies can strike from the front, you know, kind of cause a distraction on there. A light mech is not to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You don't have the weapons. You don't have the armor. And whatever weapons you do have, if you are actually going to try and hit with them, then I want to cut down on my movement modifiers. I don't want to walk or run. And I want to get as close as I can so my opponent doesn't have their hex modifiers when I shoot. But that's going to literally making, make me a sitting target on there. Second part of Battletech. Never say never. Crazy things happen in Battletech all the time. Um, I remember it was a trial of possession, and I've got my summoner, Jade Falcon, moving forward. And I get hit. I don't remember. If it, I think it was from an elemental, or it might have been from a short-range missile pack. One missile hit. One missile hit. Center torso. So, you know, roll, hit. Okay, missiles hit. How many hit? One. Location, snake eyes. Center torso, crit. For opening shot of the game, too. Opening shot of the trial of possession. This was for the right to um, restore order and dignity to a House Davian controlled world and, and remove those Desgra mech warriors on there. I take the hit. Okay, all right, you know, look, I took the hit. Roll for crit to confirm crit. You know, three crits confirmed. It's like, wait, what? Three hits confirmed? Okay. Um, this is bad. Roll for location. Engine. You know, gyro, gyro. And, and I'm out. And I'm done. And that's it. You know, I fall flat on my face. And it's like, wait, what just happened? So, yes, in absolute theory, out of desperation, you know, if I was that locust pilot, um, I run up to that thunderbolt and I just, I would just tape my hand to the trigger on there. And just so at least if I pass out take that consciousness check i'll still be shooting right just absolute it, it, it could happen right you could get a headshot your opponent could pass out you could get some crits that happens enough in battle tech where you don't want to believe in it you don't want to rely on it but you're going to have a great laugh when it does happen um i did get a little bit of revenge on there later on when i was invading davian controlled space um my summoner fired off its missiles and i think it was is it the Anteros Heavy Tank? The one where you think it's a misprint and it has like 20 medium lasers, something just absolutely insane, and it's a heavy tank. I, I shot at it, like a couple of missiles hit. One of the missile locations was LRM missiles. One of the locations was like, you know, um, uh, turret, crew compartment, roll for crit, crit confirmed, and like blew out all the crew on there with one missile. Like, you know, a, a little optic slot the size of a penny, my missile hit right there and just blew it up. So things like that can happen in Battletech. Okay, but you have orders. Orders are orders. You're in that light mech, and you got to do what you have to do to get up there. How do we do it? How do we do it? How do we make it happen? And then I'll turn it over to you guys. Um, the only way I see it is really physical attacks. I mean... You could try to run up. You could play the initiative game. You could try to run up, keep running, um, based on the speed of your mech, trying to stay at distance. And if you win initiative after your opponent moves, you could try to run behind them and get rear armor. I mean, you could, right? Shoot, shoot, kick, punch. I might not kick because I'd be afraid of falling down on there. But... Eventually, you're going to lose initiative, and literally in one turn being that close, or even if you're somewhat away, you're going to get scrapped on there. The only real way I see it, although you could hit with the punch, one in six chance, the only way I really see it, honestly, death from above. 
And, and I've, I've done it only once. Um, a spider jumped up and he took out a Zeus. Davy and Zeus on there, landed on the head, crunched it, took some leg damage, was messed up. Um, rinse and repeat on another mech, hit that. Didn't take it out, but landed and ripped both my legs off. So now I'm on the ground just rolling around trying to shoot my medium lasers on there. That's the only way I see it. And that's a big what if, and you're not getting away without damage. And literally you have one shot with many, many modifiers. you got to get the initiative. you got to not get blasted out of the sky. you got to actually hit the death from above. A lot of what ifs. Um, then you got to roll pretty confidently on that chart and try to smash that head off. But it is possible. That, that's the only real way I see it. Just massive suicide running up there. Not even a charge attack. I don't think the charge attack could generate the initiative to do it. Your thoughts. I'm going to turn that over to the comments. For whatever reason, strange things happen in Battletech. you got to make it happen. Um, a light versus a heavy or a medium versus an assault.